Hey guys, thanks for connecting. So today's video is really just a simple way on how to embrace our voice and our sound. It is one of the most powerful tools that we have and one that I've started using again for healing um, and for sort of balance. This year, 2020 is all about the balance, all about like finding balance in duality. So what I would like to share with you is some very easy ways to connect with your voice, with your sound, and really just to help your body, mind, emotions balance. I connected with this um, again uh, over the last few months only because uh, of anxieties and depressions and ways my brain was working and I wanted to snap out of it and shift shift out of it it's just there's nothing worse than feeling anxious and caught up in your thoughts and not being able to snap out of it or the depressive thoughts that get really low um, and that actually can you know float by and you're just like what the hell am I thinking um, so so if if any of you are experiencing any sort of depression or anxiety um, emotional imbalance, hormonal imbalance, any sort of stuff that makes you feel imbalanced on the planet at the moment, then this video is just one tool that you can pop in your toolbox. It's not going to resonate with anyone. Oh, close that door. It's not going to resonate with anyone, uh, everyone. Um, but if it does, please pop it in your toolbox and use it when necessary. So your voice is one of the most powerful tools you can use. It is something that we use nearly every day and we listen to other people's voices all the time. And one of the greatest things about voice or any sort of sound is it's all frequency, it's all energy, it's all in motion. Everything is in motion and frequency or sound can actually be measured on hertz levels. And I don't know if you've ever connected with those videos that, you know, the sounds that can actually help you sleep better or meditate or shift your frequency from one level to another, lift your serotonin. There are so many videos out there regarding sound and changing frequency and changing the way you feel. Uh, it's really important to know that you actually have that tool held within you too. And just a note with those videos, please be sure that they feel right for you. If they start to get annoying or give you a headache or something, disconnect from it because it's not for you. I know that that happened to me many years ago and it just kind of made me feel very imbalanced for a long time. So just, yeah, with those videos, please ensure that it feels right for you. So this, you can't really go wrong with your voice because it's a tool that's been God-given. It's yours and it's yours to use how you wish. I mean, how much proof do we need that sound shifts us, really? When you listen to a song that you love, where does your vibe go? It goes up. So it makes you feel good. So what I am embracing here and what I'd ask you to embrace is listening to your own voice. I know. Uh, one of my favourite scientists, Dr. Bruce Lipton, um, I connected with him a little while back now, and he talks a lot about epigenetics. Uh, to me, he's the father, the father of of epigenetics and if you don't know what epigenetics is look it up but it's just basically beyond your your dna we are more than just our her her heritage we are energy and the environment we the environment of our cellular structure and how that is grown up is not just to do with heritage and just dna passed down it's to do with energy on a greater scale but that was a very very obscure way of describing it, but please look it up. He is, he's great. And one of his, he's a scientist and he moved from science to spirituality after discovering this when he was um, teaching overseas. Anyway, he is, his, one of his philosophies and one of his ideas is that um, when we are sleeping and in our, like it's like a, it's like the place before we get to sleep, it's like the theta. Um, the brain waves, they go into a space and this is where we have the greatest power to change the way we're thinking, the way we're feeling, the way we behave. Now I'm getting to the point. Basically what we can do as a human is really shift the way we think, the way we feel, the way we are. Any imbalances just by tapping into that space there. And one of his, um, one of his philosophies and one of his recommendations is that Tapping into that space uh, with affirmations uh, helps rewire your brain. Now, we all know neurons and pathways in our brains um, and that, that, you know, there are certain triggers and ways that we just continue to create. And consciously, uh, when we're awake, 5% of that is used. And when we're, you know, 
unconscious or in subconscious, 95%, the hard drive is really what's moving us into life and, and, and living. And although many of us do affirmations during the day and, you know, some of us look into the mirror and we do all these positive thinking thoughts, which helps, if we can tap into the hard drive, the subconscious, which is 95% of our brain power, uh, this is where we can really help shift ourselves, our lives. So how do we do that? Um, so, so what am I talking about? So pretty much I'm talking about working with your subconscious and working with affirmations and working not just with affirmations that you just pull off the YouTube, but working with your own affirmations because this is the most powerful thing that you can do. I have a, popped a link down below in relation to what an affirmation is. It's basically a positive statement that you say, I am beautiful, I am strong, I am vibrant, I have full vitality in my body, I am strong and confident, I am calm, all of those positive statements. And a lot of us at times go, doesn't feel right, doesn't feel true, I don't feel confident, I don't feel calm, what the, seriously? And it's just like you feel like you're kind of lying to yourself. Now, 20 years ago, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease, which is a type of cancer. And this is what shifted my whole perspective of life and, and rewiring my brain. And I used to add, do affirmations and write uh, pretty much three or four hours a day in my journal uh, for about six to 12 months. And I tell you what, that shifted my perspective, my mind, it rewired my brain in a whole new way. Um, 20 years later, after healing my cancer and going through all sorts of well I went through chemo I went through um, all sorts of things in that space but coming through that on the other side and here I'm 20 years later um, have I kept up that practice no uh, but I needed to embrace it again at this time but in a new way and what I do is write affirmations that are important to me that feel right for me whether it's to do with emotional balance hormonal relationship financial Anything that you want to help shift in your life, you can actually affirm about. I am abundant. I accept wealth into my life. It is safe for me to be wealthy. It is safe for me to be healthy. It is safe for me to be celebratory. It is, I love to be celebratory. I love to be healthy. Whatever it is that you want to shift in your world, you can place this in your affirmation system. So first step, work out what it is that you want to shift, whether it's, you can do all, you can do as many as you want, financial, emotional, but if there's something specific, hormonal, imbalance, whatever it is, you can choose that. Second step is to sit down, give yourself some time and write down some affirmations. I'm not saying just five or six or seven, I'm saying write down about a hundred, at least a hundred. Um, so, so it does take a little bit of time, but you want to, you want to shift your world, don't you? I do, I did. Um, so write down your affirmations and then get your phone and record them. Now, if you can record about 20 minutes, half an hour, if you've only written down 100 affirmations or 20, just say them over and over again until you've reached about 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. And this, this is gonna take, this whole activity might take you about an hour, okay? But it's really worthwhile. And then once you've recorded it, you can plug those into your system, into your ears, just before you go to bed. And this, this allows, just when you're about to go to sleep, so if you read or if you journal or anything you do before you go to bed and then just pop them in, pop your headphones in. And headphones are the best, they work the best because they are directly into your brain. Um, and just allow them to play through. Now you might not fall asleep with them in all the time and you might do. Regardless, they are going to be a powerful tool for you to use. I have started using this over the last three weeks. It's really helped shift my mind, my energy system. I feel like I've got more energy. I'm still working with it though. I'm not like high vibing it every day. I'm a spiritual, emotional, physical human being and we have ups and downs. So what I'm saying is pop this into your toolbox and if you can use it on a regular basis, it will really, really help you. Um, your sound of your voice is one of the greatest gifts that you've been given. And uh, for those people that don't like using their phone because I'm not a person that likes to bring my phone to bed so I've got an old phone and I've popped it all onto my old phone so it's not an active phone and I just use that because I keep my phone out of my room I just don't need to have it in my room it's a sacred space um, so so that's really important 
for those of you who don't actually speak or some of some people may not may choose not to speak or have a problem speaking or there's a problem with your voice box or there is just something going on with the voice um you can still reverberate your voice and this isn't you can't do affirmations but what i'd like you to do is work with the reverberation of your sound in your voice box so even just bringing up sound uh, 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 and holding it allowing it to reverberate if that doesn't work even just using your imagination hearing yourself speak with sound will be very powerful and you'll find that in time that your voice box will get stronger or you will start to speak but trust in that trust in that Use these affirmations that you have recorded in your car, when you're cleaning, you can pop them in or you can pop them out if, if, if you don't mind popping it on a speaker and sounding it, booming it out, but allow yourself to, to listen to them whenever. But the best time is really at night when you can hardwire through your, the hard drive, which is your subconscious. It is a regular activity like anything, like exercising our body. You don't go to the gym once a month and expect to be buff. Uh, it's like any regular activity and I also want to say at this time on our planet the energy is shifting I mean many of you are waking up many of us are moving into a space and a life that is more healthful um, and beneficial for us and so so know that if you did try these affirmations 20 years ago like I did it doesn't take six or 12 months any, anymore it's quicker there's a quicker vibration or vibration or field that's within the energy system and on our planet and it's shifting things faster. So know that and know that and also for any other tools you may have used in the past, um, know that if you might try them again, uh, they may resonate differently because it's a whole different frequency. It may not have been time then, you may have been well before your time like many light workers, but know that right now is a good time to try those new things, explore them. Um, or repeat them and know that if they don't feel right then just let it go it's all good there is so much stuff out there to know um, that that you know what is right for you so I hope that has helped um, thank you for, if you're still watching thank you thanks because I know it takes takes a bit to watch right to the end of the video if you've got any questions uh, let me know please subscribe um, and I do videos whenever I am inspired to but if you have anything in specific you'd like to chat about or like to know about please message me or uh, send us a message on the links below and uh, may you go in peace go in light and use that beautiful voice you have sing around the house sing 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 talk to yourself sing 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 really really use that voice and help lift your vibrational field um, because this is so easy to do okay in peace see you next time